So growing up, you were, it's fed into your mind that, okay, you should hate America, or America is not good, or the American government is not good. And you try, because I personally think because I was raised in America, I was raised to have a mind of my own and not to listen to what uh, your family is saying or to what your media is saying, but to rather listen to them and actually analyze and think and have your own mind and actually be able to make a decision of your own. And my roommate was an American um, here at AUB and she was my best friend. And it took me a lot of time when I had to take her to my village and she wanted to visit and meet my family. It was as if they weren't accepting this new person. And it was so hard for me to understand. I didn't have that issue. I would love, I loved everyone equally. Again, because I was raised in a community full of love and with no stereotypes. But in, in Lebanon, it's different. And Lebanon, and also like it, not only in Lebanon, but in other countries as well, like there are a lot of stereotypes. The media really affects the way people think, especially before and after 9-11 and all of these issues. So I tried as much as I can to demonstrate to people, rather than telling people, no, this is wrong, or yes, this is what you should be doing. I wouldn't do that. I realized I had to be smarter. And so I started to demonstrate and show people that it's okay if we're friends with someone who's from Oman or America or Europe, and you can, you can communicate and you can build bridges with these people. And I remember one of the most important incidents in my life is um, I have a mentor for my business. And basically when he came to Lebanon, he's like, please don't put me with any Muslim. And I don't want to be with someone who's veiled because like they're all scary. And he turned out to be my mentor. And he later on admitted, he was like, you know what, Esther, I'm really sorry. I had to tell you something. I, put, I judged you, I put stereotypes on you, and you've really taught me more than I've ever intended to teach you. And we became best of friends. And even after our mentorship is over, we are still gonna you know, communicate and talk. But it's because I showed initiative. And I showed him that even if I'm veiled and if you have your stereotypes against me, or I'm Arab, or I'm from a Muslim society, I'm still willing to, to come and to talk to you. And I really, really think it has a lot to do with what, how my parents raised me and the environment that I was in. So, well, if everyone's telling you like Arabs are not good people and you should not communicate with them and try to avoid them as much as possible and vice versa, Americans are not good people, it takes a lot of inner strength to actually break that barrier that, that your family, the community, the media and all of these other factors have built into you. So that's, that's why I think um, communication in terms of us taking that extra step and introducing yourself to a guy named John and saying, hey, my name's Esther, I'm from Lebanon, where are you from? And once you get to know who they are and what they do, it, it starts to break those barriers and you really start to connect. Even here in Lebanon, like, I always think about ways to get to know other people in other communities because we're in a country where you have like 15 different religions and race and all of these ethnic people. Meet people, go to networking events, look for people who are different, look for people who have stuff on or are wearing a veil or are wearing something that's weird and you're not accustomed to because I've learned this through throughout all of my years of working and learning and and I've really learned that if we initiate the first step, if we really try to really understand people and remove the stereotypes that are in our heads, which I know sounds a bit cliche, but one of the ways to remove these stereotypes is to actually understand a person, get to know them, what, what are their interests, how do they do things in their culture. This is what I've done throughout the years to better understand people and their behavior and how they think. And I have a lot of friends who are from different cultures and different religious backgrounds and yet sometimes I click with them more than I click with people who are from my community and my culture.